Bill S. Ballinger, a prominent mid-century author and screenwriter, gained recognition for his notable noir novel, The Longest Second, 1957, which garnered acclaim as a finalist for the prestigious 1958 Edgar Award for Best Mystery Novel. Employing a distinctive split narration technique, the book unfolds through the perspective of its central character and a third-person account of the investigating police, intertwining their narratives. The gripping plot revolves around an individual grappling with amnesia, piecing together fragments of his identity after surviving a brutal assault. The story commences as the protagonist regains consciousness, realizing he is in a hospital room situated in New York City. The excruciating pain in his neck signifies a severe wound, a slashed throat that would have proven fatal had he not been discovered and tended to by a compassionate stranger. Compounding his predicament, the man finds himself devoid of any recollection of his true identity or the motive behind the attempted assassination targeting him. Hindered by his inability to speak due to the damage to his throat, he drifts in and out of consciousness, haunted by a recurring nightmare that permeates the novel, a disorienting experience wherein the hospital room transforms into a dimly lit space, with an ominous light emanating from a distant corner. He anxiously anticipates an imminent threat, consumed by an unparalleled terror. The police diligently interview the man, but their efforts are impeded by his communication limitations, forcing him to rely on written responses. They manage to match his fingerprints, revealing his name as Vic Pacific. Regrettably, this revelation fails to trigger any semblance of recognition within the victim's memory. He delves into his scant memories, only able to recall fragments of quotations from philosophers Nietzsche and Schopenhauer, along with seemingly random lists of names that hold no significance. After being discharged from the hospital, Vic determines that the key to unraveling the mystery lies in the home of the person who initially aided him when he was found with his throat slashed, Bianca Hill. A striking and compassionate young woman, Bianca informs Vic that she discovered him in a pool of blood on her doorstep. She extends an offer for him to stay, providing him with light household tasks, which he gratefully accepts. However, Bianca remains clueless as to why Vic was targeted in her building, while her roommate, the equally captivating Rosemary, vehemently opposes harboring Vic for an extended period. Rosemary harbors deep fear that those who sought to kill Vic may return, endangering both women's lives. Vic senses something amiss about Rosemary, although he struggles to identify precisely what it is. Meanwhile, the police diligently work to unravel the truth behind Vic's situation. His account of amnesia fails to entirely convince them, particularly one detective who is determined to expose any lies Vic may be telling in order to extract the information he believes Vic is withholding. At a critical juncture, Vic's memory offers another perplexing clue. He possesses knowledge of Arabic words, yet the origin and purpose behind this linguistic skill remain unclear. As anxiety intensifies, Rosemary, overwhelmed by fear, flees from the apartment, an ill-fated decision. Tragically, the same murderous individuals who remain in pursuit of Vic ultimately claim Rosemary's life. As parallel investigations conducted by Vic and the police yield an ever-increasing array of revelations, including the discovery of a safe deposit box containing a substantial sum of money, the truth gradually emerges. It becomes apparent that Vic was not found on Bianca's doorstep, but on Rosemary's. Vic and Rosemary were entangled in a sinister undertaking together, prompting their relentless pursuers to close in on Vic. Rosemary interpreted Vic's amnesia as an opportunity to extricate herself from the dangerous situation, but the consequences proved devastating. Ultimately, it is Vic's haunting recurring nightmare that holds the vital clue to unveil the identity of his relentless pursuers. As the novel reaches its climactic conclusion, Vic finds himself confronting the enigmatic figure who is poised to emerge from the ominous spot of light in his dreams. The resolution of this gripping mystery lies in the chilling encounter that awaits him, finally shedding light on the truth that has eluded him throughout his journey. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.